Okay, so after watching this video back, I saw that there were some wardrobe malfunctions. So before you watch this, just know that there's gonna be some blurs here, but yeah. Okay, today we're gonna do something different that I literally have never done before. We're gonna do a get ready with me to go to a holiday party tonight. So as you can see, I've already done my hair. I just did like a little blowout. I honestly am, I, it's like kind of really big right now. So I'm probably gonna like go over it or something after. Anyway, I'm gonna put my hair up. So yeah, let me do that really quick. Okay, hair is up. First order of business, I've already washed my face and then I put um, just some lotion on. I'm going to use the BB cream L'Oreal that like it's like anti-redness and it like goes to your face. So I'm going to do that really quick. Guys, I'm not going to be good at this. Like I'm going to like pause and then stop and then pause and stop because like I don't care. Okay, so I put this on a little different as you can see. I do literal like dots all over my face and neck. And if I'm wearing like a low cut outfit, like right now, I'll probably I'll put some on my neck as well. And then I just rub it in and it literally matches to your skin tone, which is amazing. So watch that. It literally goes to my skin tone, which is amazing. My skin tone. Okay, so that is blended and all good to go. Oh my gosh, don't mind my little frizzies coming out. Um, the next thing I do is I grab my little like pencil mark and this is like literally so old. It's the Clinique Redness Solutions, like what is this even called, foundation? Um, so this actually, I just go in and kind of spot treat each area that I believe needs a little bit more coverage so I just sort of do that okay and then if you can see I blend those in oh I guess I should show you guys how I blend it in I literally just use my finger so I just sort of like that Okay. Okay, I decided to put a headband on. There's literally makeup all over this headband. Um, okay, so once you spot treat, the next thing I do is, honestly, if I want like full coverage, I'd use my Fenty Beauty like full coverage pro filter matte foundation, but um, I don't need that right now. I only use that for like galas, if I were to go to a gala. But right now, I am using this Fenty Beauty. It's the same thing, but it's a matte, a soft powder foundation. And I just sort of kind of put in areas where, like, I'm still, like, a little rosy. So I do that. This is just, like, anywhere where I want it to, like, cover up or, like, give me a good tint. So I'll put it on my neck. As you can see, it's like, I have an, an olive undertone. So that's why it looks a little yellow when I put it on, but I swear it'll all work out in the end. Don't you know, trust the process. Okay, so once that done, I go, once that's done, I go and do my cream contour palette. This is like all drugstore makeup. Well, not necessarily all drugstore, but like majority is, it is, but I'm going to grab my contour brush and show you guys, like, I use like the darkest one. Then I simply just put it on like this because don't we all want to be snatched looking contour can make that happen so then I'm gonna get my beauty blender and 
make sure it's a little damp and blend that in. Okay, so once all of that is blended in, we are going to go in with some, I, say, I call it my setting powder, but it's still like the Clinique um, like mineral pressed powder. So I get my brush and just put it all over. So I will be doing that. Okay, I think the beauty filter's on, so I'm gonna take it off so that you guys can actually see like what this makeup looks like. Okay, that is much better. Now you guys can actually see what I look like with the makeup on instead of it being fake. The next thing is NARS. As you can see, I am running a little low. This is the NARS um, Laguna Bronzer, and it is my all-time favorite. Got introduced to it maybe like freshman year of high school and it's just been my geo too ever since so we're gonna put that in all of the areas that i put contour on and if you want to be a little bit more bronzed in any of the other areas so obviously my neck and my chest area i like really have to get in there because there's like none okay on to blush. Again, this is Drugstore. This is e.l.f. The blush palette. It's literally amazing. Um, I use these three. And it gives you like such a warmth, like beachy glow. Summery vibe. So I like literally do this all the time. Even in the winter. Okay, we are finito with that. So the next thing is eyes. I'm gonna use the Morphe palette. What is this? 25A. And I literally just use the like browns. So I don't know if you can see this. I, oh, I still have that thing. Don't judge me. Okay. I use like these, those. And then I use the black and the dark brown at the bottom for my wing. So I just put this on like this and we'll do that very just like subtle smooth to the other eye okay I'm like doing the wings right now and I just wanted to show you that I use the bottom two right here this one and that one put together and I rarely use like eyeliner so I just use eyeshadow instead. Just go like that and then fluff it out. Okay, almost done. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, before that, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal, like, I don't even know what you call it, primer um, before. Soaky. I swear you are never fully dressed without some scara. Some scara. Okay, we are almost done. My favorite part, Fenty Beauty Highlighter. I have how many carrots, which is literally like, like literally an engagement ring red, right on my, right on my cheekbone. That just doesn't do it justice, honestly. The Trophy Wife, I do a little bit on top. And this is just such a beautiful, beautiful, sunny color. It's like very gold. I love to mix them. Okay, I cannot forget my favorite part. Well, the highlighter was my favorite part, and this is my second favorite part. Um, the House Labs Lip Oil and the Dior Addict uh maximizer so we're gonna put that on you guys the combination is literally stunning you can barely see it because there's just the light but like it is so sparkly this is the final product
I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, but makeup done. Thanks for watching.